Hey guys, how's it going today? Rusty here from the Vapors Collective. You can find us on Facebook. Um, if you have any questions, you can get a hold of us either on there. You can find me. Um, some other guys will try to help you out. But today, I wanted to talk about just a little bit of everything. This is my first video on vaping. Um, I've been vaping about a year and a half. Uh, I've gone from you know the battery style cigarettes or e-cigarettes, I should say, all the way up to mods. Um, I'm a very poor vapor, so I have no money and I buy all kinds of cheap stuff. Um, but th it works and I enjoy it. Um, it brings me on to a few points that I'd like to talk about. Um, I know a lot of people out there bash clones. They complain about how expensive they are, of course, for the real ones. And that brings me to my point. Um, clones for me have kind of been a blessing. I can't afford the real deal. And, you know, I, I've gone through a lot of mods. Um, I know they're cheap. You know, I got right now, I've got the M16 clone. 13 bucks works great. It's just fine. Um, just a few issues with it, you know. But uh, hopefully here before too long, I'm going to shoot some video about uh, all the different devices that I have, you know, what I use, how I use it. Um, I, I enjoy a lot of it. But just uh, a few things I would like to talk about is um, I got some friends of mine that uh, are on the Vapors Collective and they talk to, you know, John from JB Steamworks, um, some other guys. And, you know, I, I know a lot of people say at the end of the day, when you upgrade an RSST, it's still just an RSST. Well, in my book, the way I look at it is I can't afford $150, $200 outright for an atomizer. And I've used the RSST. I think it's great. It works fine. Um, I have not yet, you know, got to try all the upgrade parts and stuff for it. I would love to. Um, I think it's it's a good idea that they allow people to, you know, buy piece by piece to get what they want out of it. And it works great. Um, I know I'm probably rambling a lot and I probably don't make a whole lot of sense to some people. And I apologize. Um, like I said, it's my first video. I have no idea what I'm doing. But, um... You know, there's. I, I like to help people. You know, I like to go down to local shops, hang out, talk, and build coils for people and stuff like that. Um, what I'm using right now, you can't hardly see it. Probably, it's just a a little nano coil. Works just fine. Um, this is a hobby for me. This is something that has got me for one to stop smoking. I feel way better. I can breathe a lot more, um, and I I enjoy that. <laughs> Uh, food tastes better, obviously. You can tell I'm a bigger guy. Um, you know, it, it's just uh, it's fun stuff. Uh, right now, I'm vaping some uh, potion of frosty fruit from D and D Vapor. Just just got it. First time I've tried. It. It's pretty good. It's uh, I got a little bit of fruit and then that coolness taste. Not menthol, but coolness. I don't know what's in it. But it's good. Um, I'm not real sure what all I'd like to talk about. You know, I've been kind of kind of shooting some ideas back and forth to some guys. Um, kind of thinking about building some, you know, like little sleeves, like wooden sleeves that go, you know, in between pieces here, so it looks a little bit different. You know, customize it with some exotic wood, something like that. Um, you know, this this is a practice video, so we'll see how it goes. Okay.